yesterday, uh, the new areas, new stuff, boss changes, all of that that we covered about a week ago, a little bit less than a week ago, I think. Uh, some of that, dot, 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 made it into the live server of Korea. So we're going to check here which things did and which things didn't and what Nexon has to say for themselves. So, without further ado, let's jump into that. Overview, what is that? Okay, this doesn't seem to be loading very much. Oh. Mm. Now it's loaded, there we go, beautiful. Da, 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 da. Beautiful new symbol. Quests, new name auction event. That's gonna be an interesting uh, thing, an untried. <laughs> So yeah, new Kaling difficulty levels and Kalos difficulty levels. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if the numbers change at all. 330. 380 defense for easy mode. Level 270. 200, 250, 230. Two drops, see if they changed from one to two drops for extreme. Nope. Drops question mark, Kalos remaining well. Oh, okay. He put a question mark, so I guess he's not sure. I mean, until people kill it. So they don't know? I guess they don't say if it also drops multiple or not. I think it should drop at least two, but um, I guess it's a. Uh, it's a question mark at this point. Oh yeah, if it's frozen, it's below a certain level. Yeah, then it, they don't change it over. Mark of destruction, crystal level. I guess someone has to kill it before, so they don't have the exact details still on the phases, because some things are just not available in the code, and then they just people just have to get there. <laughs> And then the same thing here, question mark. Yeah, so that seems like that all went through. Just the same. Uh, oh, what I could do is just do them side by side, actually. Usually we do that. Da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. To have a little bit cleaner of a... Um, what is it again? Like control... Control 2? Control 1? Yeah, there we go. Participation requirements for an approaching abyss. Characters level 285 or higher completed 5th job advancement and the arterial post for recovery quest. Imagine being 285 and not having completed 5th job advancement. What are you doing? No, seriously, what are you doing? And accept a question on empty seat quest. Those are the same pictures of the storyline. Nothing new here. We've got Havoc. And... Is this the other guy? What's this guy's name again? I keep forgetting. 285 beginner, yeah. Maybe 285 beginner, he can't even do it. Feels bad, man. I'd be impressed. I'd be, I'd be more than impressed. That's insane. Oh, that's me. With a hair color. They have them do whatever they want. Yeah, imagine blocking them. Europa. Got all the maps, all the areas. I'm assuming the monster HP stay the same and their levels. Yep, yep. Beautiful new elite boss. Symbol, symbol. All right. Uh, Jeebus. That's a long one. Oh, Brian with a 51. Clap is in the chat. Thank you very much, Brian. Appreciate you, Prime and Brian. Increasing than the dude in WoW that never picked a faction. Pandaren start off neutral and hit max level by only gathering starting area mats. <laughs> that is something. Uh, in the Cradle of Life, Carcion, the ancient god Kira sleeps. 
The Apostle Limbo. Oh, that's the guy, right? Limbo? Aiming for the power of the ancient gods has attacked Kira, who asked for help from Gaon. One of Shangri-La's four symbols. The group of adversaries arrive in Karsion in search of Kira and meet the Snake and Turtle Anima tribes. Snake and Turtle Anima tribes. Oh god, new classes, boys. We have been fighting for a long time over the gods' protection. Over 5k hours, over 212 days played. That's insane. I mean, it's like those people in, uh, in RuneScape who, like, max out every single, every single profession, right? There's, like, a small group of people who have that. There's, like, a dozen people now. For reboot, that's instance, yeah. I think for non-reboot, it's not, if I'm not mistaken. It's crazy to see like how many platforms, how many monsters in maps these days. It's really, it's really a whole other game. And to be fair, if they had, oh, is that Kira? That's Kira, dude. We're gonna have to fight Limbo because he's attacking Kira. Oh no! Okay, battleship. Memes, memes, memes. Same changes. Same changes as in no changes. Uh, that's just an extra space. Okay, nothing else. Boom, boom, boom. Benefits. So again, double spawn. No map sharing during the event because of six job. A lot of people are farming, training, grinding, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but they're grinding away levels to uh, to try to farm for the soul Urda to upgrade their fifth job, uh, sixth job, sorry, stuff and everything. So because there's that many people in these areas, they made it so that people don't kiss each other. They made it so that people um, can train in the same map up to two people, basically doubling the amount of spawn. And they added like mini, mini hastes as well for people who are training during that time. Okay, okay, achievements, same, same stuff. Monster collection, I assume that this is all the same. They added a bunch of new monsters that weren't there before. Added a bunch of new chairs. Account security changes, that all looks the same too. They added, uh, no, that's just an extra space again. Oh, optimization. The client modifications, verification speed has been improved. Okay, good stuff. Speed improvement was nice. Cash overview. In the cash shop, the standard practical pack, rare practical pack, epic practical pack, and unique practical pack will no longer be sold. Oh, damn. Rip. In the mileage, new items will be added. Uh, one time per month. Oh, instead of one time per month, one time per month per per Nexon ID. I don't know if that's an additional, really important additional restriction, but still not in reboot. So, fuck us, right? Uh, Soul Erda seems like something there. Uh, five times per month, because I can only purchase new characters. I cannot use mileage. Okay, so not, no uh, reward points you can use on the sale. This item cannot be used if you have the maximum amount of 20 Soul Urda already. And if you use this item when you have 19 and some Soul Urda energy, you will lose the extra Soul Urda energy. Okay. And then this is also just once per Maple ID. That's probably the only thing that changed to that. Yeah, reset, that already changed. So that's a bunch of pay to win stuff where people in reboot are just gonna be able to wait, uh, non reboot, sorry, are gonna be able to wail even harder. And the items for the fast leveling, even though they equalize the leveling speed now between reboot and non reboot, somehow the extra level up stuff and items 
are still going to be available in non-reboot, but nothing equivalent is going to be available in reboot. So, again, instead of us quote unquote being ahead, they're not equalizing, but now we're getting put on the other foot. <laughs> on the back foot, nicely. Uh, the rings, no use of mileage, not available in Reboot World. Experience boost 50% expiring in 30 days can stack with the Blood Ring. Okay. Uh, Pendant also cannot use reward points on that. The voucher expires in 30 days after claiming cannot be extended. And... Characters don't be the person of the The Blood Ring will be sold for 2,900 cash for 7 days and 5,900 cash for 30 days. And what is Blood Ring? Is that the one with the party EXP? Blood Ring. Blood Alliance Ring? God, that's old, old info. Hmm. But I guess that, that's, I think that's a really old event ring that you can get that gives like 5% more EXP per party member or something. So I guess it stacks with this one. Was it 10% for the first one and then 5% extra per party member? Something like that. I remember way back in on Reboot, we used to get that. Well, this cube is better to tear up on event. Uh, you can check exclamation mark cubes. There's a block there so that you can use to see which one is better. Uh, usually I get a little bit of a mix of the two. But if it's purely for the tear up, uh, honestly, they're they're around the same. People prefer the bright cubes or the black cubes, but they are, they're very, very close. So there's no clear favorite there. More like a personal preference kind of thing. My general advice is try to use the cubes to tear up that you're planning to use to roll the potential afterwards. Because they're so close, you don't want to overbuy one of the cubes that you're not going to use afterwards. Like if you buy all bright cubes to tear up and then you get lucky, then you're going to be stuck with a bunch of cubes. And then if you have to use those cubes to re-roll, then you're losing a lot of value on the rerolls. But usually what I do is I buy like, you know, like a very discreet amount of bright cubes and then a bunch of glowing cubes. And then if I don't get it in the bright cubes, then I just slam the glowing, gl blah, the glowing cubes because they're very close in rates. You see, X mark cubing. There you go. All right. Uh, Earth shower. So this is... I'm imagining that this is going to be almost all the same. There might be a few number tweaks here and there. Uh, oh, they added Jupiter Thunder change. Final damage boost on the shocked enemy will no longer apply to frozen lightning. Oh. That's, that's too bad. Wait, why not? Damn, no fr frozen lightning bonus damage on Jupiter Thunder. The skill has been boosted though. Yeah, it just says changing action method, but if that, yeah, if that was too much of a positive interaction between the two, then I can see that. This is all the same, so all of the action delays Decreasing. Uh, oh, extra number change here to... Oh, I guess the range of the Mercedes compared to the test server has been reduced a bit. Or maybe the numbers were wrong. It says you're increased by 459 and increased by 229. And instead it says increased by 359 and 129. It's possible that Max mixed up the numbers of how much it was increased by and how much it was increased to. Because it's exactly 100% on both. It might be a matter of like what was the base number. Maybe this isn't actually a change. Maybe this is just like a typo correction. Um, 
Either way, these are still big increases in terms of the range, so I doubt anyone is complaining that it's only 359% range increase instead of 459% range increase. I don't know how many boss fights you really need. You just need to be a little bit more careful placing it, right? Okay, same changes, same changes. Okay, looks good. Okay. So same skill changes as the one before. Quest changes, you got all the rocks at once. Oh. Okay. Uh, extra item changes? No, yes, extra item changes. Shoot the description for Mega Burning Booster, Terra Burning Booster, Mega Burning Booster Voucher, Terra Burning Booster Voucher have been enhanced. Detailed information has been added to the vouchers item tooltips for a level up starter package. In Reboot World, the cooldown when using cube items has been adjusted. The settings uh, made on the July 13th update where the cooldown was slightly increased has been removed and it has been changed to be the same as it was before the July 13th update. So I guess they found a way to fix the problem without slowing down the cubing for everyone. We'll take those. Not a nerf, just a fix. Uh, and then when using arcane symbol vouchers and authentic symbol vouchers, you, it will now display your number of remaining equipped slots. Thank you. Like, it cannot be this hard. Now, the next thing we need is that when you're double clicking items to extract, that it tells you you cannot extract more items because based on the amount of inventory space slots, it says that it needs. Um, Instead of just telling you either you can't do it if your equip is full, or it doesn't tell you anything as long as your uh, your etc is full, sorry, and it doesn't tell you anything as long as your etc has any space in it. But like, I mean, baby steps, right? Baby steps. But this is at least a step in the right direction of thinking a little bit more proactively about like the things that you're doing with your account. Okay, uh, healer changes look like they are going through 100%. So basically, way less healing. Shorter healing and the monsters, fewer monsters, and easier to kill the monsters. So, for earlier players, Hela will be a lot easier. Uh, for Pap, not as much rifting and fewer 100% heals to make it that less annoying. For Cygnus, the potion cooldown uh, decreased from 30 seconds to 6, and the potion cooldown information message has been changed to be displayed accurately. They probably forgot to add that little part to it where the number wasn't changed properly. Uh, oh. Laser pattern, increased radiation speed has been decreased. The guide when entering, oh, the guide message when entering phase one has been changed. And the hard mode, rotation speed has been decreased. In phase two and three, when the electric current pattern starts, when the platforms drop, a guide message will be displayed. Okay. Okay. Damien Meteorite cooldown increase. The well changes, those are the biggest ones. And it was also the most text, so I'm guessing there might be some adjustments here. Um, but it looks like just one, which is in hard mode. Uh, the time for the Moonlight Gauge to start filling up again after being hit has been decreased by 20%. Okay. Now, that, on top of the... Six, uh, the Oh, but instead of the 67% increase in Recovery Gauge, that was reduced to 33% instead. But I prefer this. I prefer starting up the building faster and the increase in moonlight only being a little bit, well a little bit a third is still decent but only a little bit faster rather than way more but every single time you get hit it just takes as long as now to start building up moonlight i prefer this way more so i think that's that that looks like a really cool change because you're gonna you're gonna get hit plenty of times even though you're actively trying to dodge everything so this is way more forgiving, I think, than just giving you overall more moonlight. Because if you get hit, then this does really help, because you still have the same moonlight as now. So, yeah, I think this is better. I don't know what you guys think, but I prefer the the live uh, live server changes to it. I was hoping, actually, when we were reading the test view, I didn't mention it, but I was hoping that they were going to do that instead. Uh, Lucid changes the same. 
So no more pausing the HP bar, just a little bit more HP overall, but no more pause. Guardian Slime, the same, less damage reduction, and Chaos Mode, 22% less HP. Just massive, way more, way more sliming. And then Arcane Power for normal Varicella down, and Monster Level for Seren down, and HP decrease for normal Seren as well. Kalos, Projectile, increased even Oh no, less, less. Instead of 301%, 143%. Ooh. But it's keeping the exact same visual. <laughs> they made the hitbox smaller compared to Tespia, but the picture is exactly the same. Or Max just used the same picture and he hasn't updated that part yet, but... I'm gonna go ahead and guess that they just randomly changed the hitbox of the skill to make it now still completely incongruent with how big it is officially that that would be so next on hmm cut as well guideline bombs that's all the same okay in the sorcer sorcerer's room you can no longer use skills other than movement skills oh well, that's fine we can handle that Okay, boss UI, room for the extreme modes. Nothing else happening here. Skill error fixes, there might have been some added here. Let's see, no, will skill, no longer animation canceling. I remember that part. Da, 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 da. Okay, there's something here. Wait, huh? Dude, all I did was scroll up and scroll down. Why am I a completely different part of the patch notes now? Additional hero changes. Buff hero? Certain must records. Oh yeah, that's the same. And then must re skills icons were displayed awkwardly if you did not meet the required skill conditions. Ho young stuff. Okay. Oh. Uh, and then fix an issue where certain mastery core skills could be used without meeting the uh, required skill conditions. Oh, interesting. And then the rest is the same. Okay. All right. And they added hero, fix an issue where combo, instinct, hexa, enhancement core skill description was awkward. Okay. Awkward description fixed. That's fine. Uh, oh, and an extra Paladin fix. Divine Judgment 6 would be activated without meeting the fourth job Divine Judgment required level conditions. Okay, that seems to be kind of like a red line here. Fixing issue where Frozen Lightning was used in the air, or if you changed maps during Frozen Lightning, the continuous effect would not be applied. Okay. Extra bishop change, bishop change as well. Okay, oh, they, they found quite some extra s stuff here. Number of hits required to summon angel ray six is angel of judgment. Sometimes accumulated multiple times per skill. How do you sometimes ascend slowly when resummoned? Ascend slowly, so it just like my people need me, but just hmm. Rolling attack speed and two handed that much better. Um, I don't know the exact number in my brain. I want to say it's around six percent final damage. You did it 283. Grats, bro. That's crazy level. I can't get to that. Uh, most of these fixes are 
pretty small fixes though. Like, if your class is in here, then it might be important for you, but... Maybe more like a little bit of a nuisance, like a little bit of quality of life thing. I will though add the, um... Let's see if my bot is already working again. There we go. Classes... Da, 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 da. Okay, these are all in now. Shangri-La Sinner's Paradise. These are now in... Whoa. These are now in GMS. Awesome. So we're getting this. Uh, skill changes, skill fixes. Keep up to date. You can double check them there. Seven and a half? Oh, a little bit more than. Poly, I think, should be similar because they've got all the same multipliers. Between one handed, two handed, and between axe and blunt weapon and, and sword to sword. So it should be around the same because it's just the final multiplier on, on, the, on, the, on the mastery. On a mastery, on a weapon attack. Okay. Night Lord. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Dual blade. Oh, dual blade extra. Notification for Karma God manifest even if Karma Blaze. Sometimes Karma Blaze weapon effect would not disappear. Yeah, it's okay. Dual blade. That's the same. They added Buccaneer. Nala's description changed. Neptune is shockwave and sea rage would activate. Battleship Nautilus additional attack only one time. Okay, a little bit of extra. A little bit of extra Nautilus damage. That's the same, that's the same, that's the same. Wind Archer. Hexa Matrix. The skill summon will be played. Next, okay, that's just a little text change. Aaron. Adrenaline Surge's description has been changed. Fixing an issue by Adrenaline Surge's final strikes damage was sometimes not applied properly. We can't have that. Gotta have damage. Uh, Fixing an issue where Circle of Mana 6's effect was awkward. We don't like awkward effects here. Only awkward effect we allow is me talking. Ha <laughs> ha! Da 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 da. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Shade to fix an issue where what class is that? Where during advent of the protector god, the protector god chain claw activated by spirit flow would be activated even when crouching. Why not, dude? It's someone else activating it. Why can't you duck? Come on. Uh, Devil cry debuff would not be applied properly on enemies that were already hit by demon, uh, demon chains debuff at least once. Well, that's because the effect wouldn't stack with each other, right? So that probably had a weird interaction. Demon Avenger, we're actually buffing the character 300% damage. What? Uh, no. Fixing issue where you could use Requiem's Demon Swords Roar one more time if you changed maps at the same time as when it activated. <laughs> Who was trying to sneak in an extra Demon Avenger attack? Which one of you guys? Figure that one out. Okay. Oh, bunch of extra Wild Hunter stuff. Uh, display uh, awkwardly. Nobody cares. Uh, drawback while using Wild Vulcan 6. The wildness effect would not be activated. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Rest is the same. 
Bro, I care. I know, I know. Kane, uh, Poison Needle 6 did not activate Remain Incense. Well, it has to. Uh, that's the same as well. Ilya. Wait, no, they added Adele. I'm high. Picture where you could use Divide 6's Enhanced or Cleave. Uh, divide even when your skill usage was limited due to using skills a certain number of times without moving. Ooh. Sneaky Hobbits. Is... Same, same, same. Good. All right. Quest changes. Usually they add one. Oh, there we go. Labyrinth of Suffering. Investigation quest where defeating a giant golem, broken golem, and fragmented golem did not count for the quests. Items. Same changes. Monsters. Uh oh, way more changes. Anything interesting here? Fixation where in will, easy, normal, and hard, where the buff icons were displayed in an awkward location when entering. Cool. Uh, fix it. Watch your colors. Phase two boss monster. Oh, that's the same. Kaling. Normal. Tabu. Charges. Okay, it's the same. Calling normal phase two. Summon early. And then with the darkness hitting a monster would display the monster's silhouette above the oh, darkness effect. Okay, but this guy also has. And calling the UI will now blink when the season's balance is less than or equal to 250 instead of only less than 250. Alright. And fixing an issue where elite champions were displayed awkwardly if they were hit by a bind skill. Well, nobody likes to be bound like that, except for the kinky, the kinky elites. Okay, I think this is the same. I think it just spaced a little bit. Oh no, the last message is extra. Uh huh. Fixing where you could acquire additional symbol rewards by using the Arcane River Quick Pass immediately after completing an Arcane River Daily Quest. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, so... Does that work now? Or was it only in a test server? Sunderbar, thank you for the Prime, bro! I appreciate that, the free Bezos box. Thank you very much. You have a good night as well. So apparently... This is like when you select your symbol daily, and then you click on the light bulb on the side, and then, then the quest is, is still in there, and then you click it, and then nothing opens, because it's like, oh, you already selected it. So I guess in the same way, you could pick up your symbols, and then click the quick pass really quickly, and pick it up if you had really bad ping, and then get like double symbols or some shit. <laughs> well, that's one way to actually max out your symbols in a decent amount of time. Not really allowed, but... It is one way to do it. Buy maple points for the exploit. <laughs> Clever girl, yeah. Alright, that's all of the tests we had, and now this is new patch notage. Identisk Ancient God's Blessing. Oh, we're going into the area where there's like a... A one-foot squirrel raccoon monster that's actually like an ancient being of thousands of years old who can like smash you into the ground like the... Universe Masters in Dragon Ball Z or some shit. Oh, new music? Pause. Hang on. Hang on. New music. Everyone listen. Clever ad break. I know, right? Perfect timing. Marimba. If there's something they get right, it's the music. Has to be said. They barely, barely miss on that. It's 
So this is the dancing sea otter with the giant clam. I guess the whole point behind that is that otters like use rocks to slam cl they slam clams on rocks, right? So they can uh, eat them. Maple music handshake RuneScape having sick music. Where's the trap remix of uh of the sea shanty? <laughs> Uh, the Blessing of the Sun and Blessing of the Wind have both returns... Returns? Return to Edentisk Island. Enki is quietly watching the residents prepare for the festival. What is Enki's true identity? Check it out on Edentisk Island. Or Edentisk. Edentisk. Edentisk related quests have been added. Ancient God's Blessing and Enki's identity. We have... E... Dentisk. Okay, that's easy part. And then... Oh my god, what? Ch... Chog, Chog, oh my god, it's fucking fonts, Chog hair. Oh, is that how you say festival? Hang on, translate. Ba -da -ba -ba. Festival. Chijun. Ah, close enough. Oh, they write it completely differently here. Uh, this one? No. This one. They almost, they write it kind of like this one. Can I just write it? Let me write it how I think it's. Uh. Celebration? No. Let me write. Let me write. Uh, like this, and then like that. Chukje. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I thought. In this festival, blah, 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 available for three weeks, 101 and higher. Help Tomo prepare. Dude, we're gonna go to a time though when there are events and they're only available for like level 260 and higher. But those are gonna be like regular events. Like 101 is not gonna mean shit. Or it's gonna be like 200 and higher. Because unless you get to 200, you haven't even loaded up the game yet. Uh, use the event item. Oh, here we have some rewards, chat. Okay, okay. Three selectors, 15 triple EXP coupons, probably prepared spirit pendants. I'm guessing that's a chair. Probably a vac pet. Maybe some event ring coupons. Five EXP nodes. Let's see. Be thousand monsters within your level range to finish each mission. Okay, that's only half of what Kali's wishes. Uh, five triple XP, thirty day prepared spin spirit pendant. There we go. Hundred and hundred slash twenty selector. Hundred event ring only Meister rings. There we go. Chair, twenty special medals. Uh, selector again. Fifty karma black rebirth flames. Dude, we always get less though. I feel like this is going to be either powerful flames or it's going to be the same but like half. For some reason in GMS we get way fewer flames than than KMS gets. I wonder what that is all about. There was one event where KMS got like 400 black flames and instead we got 200 powerful. And it's like, ugh. It wasn't even close. Uh, Enki's gift box. Oh, okay. So that has different stuff in it. Let's see what is in there. 575 experience, sector 10, black cube, voucher. Oh, that's 10, and the last is one, ah, uh, is one potion. At this point, you're just expecting two potions, or maybe that's just me, maybe I'm just greedy fuck. Getting to 200 is like a weekend, getting to 260 is a journey, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, alright, that's what the pendant looks like, that's what the chair looks like, you're in a giant clam with a, the star in it. 
And the box has the pets. Petite Enki. Pet 90 days of life can be extended. Oh, but petite and little is not the same, right? So it's not a fact pet? Petite just means that he's very small. Oh, he's not even that small. Why did they use those prefixes, petite and little? Like, just to make it more confusing. But yeah, it doesn't look like a fact pet. Fact pets are typically 30 days and cannot be extended, so. Okay, uh, if you complete all 15, you can complete the Inotesk Festival Thomas request once per day. After defeating a thousand monsters within your level range, you will receive a triple EXP coupon half an hour. Oh yeah, these are all half hour triple EXPs, by the way, not 15 minute ones. So this is two and a half hours, so this is seven and a half hours of triple. And you have 21 days, and there are 15 rewards, so you could do an, get an additional six of these. So that's not too bad. So that's seven and a half hours, so that's up to ten and a half hours of triple EXP. Like petite sugar, yeah, exactly, like petite sugar, yeah. Or mini sugar. It, yeah, it, it's just that all the prefixes mean small, so... <laughs> for to me, that makes it more confusing. Unit discs, food storage. Oh boy, we've got um, Reggie, Reg Ice and Reggie Magma over here. Two scholar sea orders from Eden, from Aiden, and Tisk have joined forces to build a few a new food storage. I can read. Help open and tow defeat the monsters appearing in the new food storage. You get a lot of experience. It's like a limited monster spawn for rewards kind of thing. Hmm, Fifteen minutes to defeat one thousand monsters. Which change based on your character level to gain experience. Every 200 monsters you defeat in Aiden, Aiden, Aiden Island Soul Erda or Tisk Island Soul Erda monster will appear that gives you more experience. If you defeat them, you will exit from the map. Every 300 monsters, the Ancient Blessing skill will activate for 20 seconds, which helps defeat monsters and give additional EXP. You can only enter one time per day per world on a single character, up to three times per week. One time per day per world on a single character up to three times per week. <gasps> so choose carefully. Pick up. More? There's gonna be at least one more. If you choose 60, you get kicked. If you exit partway through, you can re enter on the same character to finish it off. After midnight, it gets reset. And. Even if you reach the... Oh, no, wait. You cannot re-enter? Oh, if you leave. But if you stay in, then you don't... Sorry, you don't get kicked at 260. My bad. But if you leave at 260, then you cannot re-enter. But if you stay in, you can still get EXP. The Ancient God's Blessing summons... Whoop. Will not be maintained after exiting, even if you re-enter. Well, of course. For GMS, it was mini. And for KMS, it was petite. Gotcha. Uh, they're afraid of starting a wildfire. It's so dry in California. <laughs> I imagine. Is it good to tier two secondary weapon to legendary? Uh, it can be in some situations, but I wouldn't do it standard because then you're spending a lot of money that you could be spending on other things. So what what, um, what potential does your secondary have right now, Caesar? That makes you consider maybe doing that. Then hunting adventure. Oh, wow, this guy is ready. He's got the harpoon guns. You're not going to ca catch many seashells with that, but... Alright, level 101 plus. Surprise, surprise. Start a quest by... Oh, yes, a little mini game thing. Skill set. Oh, you're just an otter. You're an actual otter. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a great disguise. Warrior. Sea otter spear technique, triple strike, jump, and spitting strike, and sea otter's roar. 
So you're basically sea otter, sea otter knight, shaman, sea otter spell, rising wind, teleport, others blessing, and others curse. And the hunter is sea otter archery, rapid fire, retreat shot, ice harpoon, and sea otter song. <laughs> All right, so we've got marksman, mage, and warrior. After the game starts, you can hunt monsters to get points. The game will end when players have collected a total of 50k points. Oh, a little, a little innocent little mini game thing. Looks cute. Uh, you require a thousand EXP points one time per day for Maple ID, up to three times per week. Um, how much? Do you guys remember how much we got from a day right now? Was it? It wasn't 200, it was 300, right? And how long is this event? Is it also three weeks? Yeah, three weeks. I think it's 300, so... we got, So this is up to 3,000, three times, up to 9,000. So that would be the same amount as a whole month, like 30 days worth of, of tickets. Yeah, 300 a day. Yeah, you did get double on Sunday, yeah. But so that would be the equivalent of 30 days worth in the current event. But you'll get that in three weeks instead. And you don't have to do every single day, but just three times a week. That's pretty nice. Oh yeah, don't forget the thing that I forgot yesterday, by the way, guys. Don't forget the um, uh, the wave waves challenge thing. If you want to get those uh, bonus coins... Reminder to buy cubes before DMT. No, you don't have to. Because the whole day is DMT, so you don't want to buy too many cubes. But yes, right tomorrow is the DMT, so... Uh, suction. So suction. Which few motherfuckers actually used the website so I couldn't see the request in... <laughs> in the chat. You know I can find who did it, right? I can still find it, okay? Don't think you've beaten this system. Okie dokie, so that's quite a lot of EXP. Really good way of getting level 200 plus character. Um, I thought the store was the only way to do it. Oh. Now you can use a chat redeem function. So how most people do it. And it's not an open invitation to start doing it. If one more person does it, I'm going to disable it until I, can, until I think about even re-enabling it again. Your clear record for each job will be updated whenever you finish a disc hunting adventure with a shorter time. Shorter, shorter time. Yes, shorter time. Um, and then you get some shitty ass medals. I really wonder why they even bother giving any stats to these medals. Because these medals are so weak always. It's just like three attack. Like, why even give them stats? It's just an insult at that point. Like, new areas, level 280 areas, with a medal for completing it, and then it's just the most garbage stats on it. I feel like, at that point, just don't even give it stats. It just feels bad at that point. If you clear within 180 seconds on all jobs, you can claim the Veteran Hunter's Medal. Mm. Now, that one has the same shitty stats. Okay. Cumulative EXP point acquisition rewards. When you acquire EXP points a certain number of times, you can receive cumulative EXP point acquisition reward from OSIC six times. Baby sea otter hat. Aww. That's kind of cute. Not gonna lie. I feel like I feel like that's pretty cute. Okie dokie. Um... No problem, took a mission. It's just kind of loud for during the... If we're doing content that goes into the <laughs> YouTube video.
Okay. Yeah, but maybe I should just turn it off before just to... Yeah, it's more me thing. Like, I would just hope that people didn't wouldn't do it. But it's kind of a bad thing to hope that everyone can read my mind. And that <laughs> that's not a good thing. Uh, dance of sunshine and wind. Earth, wind, and fire. Eden, Eden, Tisk Island. What, what are those 3D notes doing here? Wrong game, bro. What is this, Claymation? Nah, no problem, Tuki. Okay, big clam thing. Is this the skill where you just kill monsters near your level? Yeah, it looks like it. The dance gauge will fill up. When you feed 300 monsters, then they will just show up and just slam the map. Okay. Seems good. Seems good. Quite a large amount of experience and Oren and Torin will dance and clap to attack multiple enemies. After this, dance of sunshine and wind in Intisk residence will activate and in Intisk, Intisk, Intisk. Bro, how am I supposed to say this? Identisk, right? Right? Identisk? I keep saying Identisk for some fucking reason. EU brain, I guess. Residence will appear and dance to attack nearby enemies. This can activate up to 30 times per day. Oh, per account, probably. Oh no, per character. Ooh! You can deactivate the skill by right clicking the skill icon on the skill line. If the skill is deactivated, it will remain deactivated until midnight or until you right click the skill to activate it again. If you disconnect and reconnect, the deactivate skill will be reactivated. Good. Dance gauge, angelic busters, rise. <laughs> Dance, I can only think of monsters with yeah, yeah, okay, that all makes sense. And then cash up transfer because Korea actually fought for that and they complained for that and there was enough demand, so they got it. Orange mushroom man, good. <laughs> How will new players learn to do will good if he, the punishment for failure isn't group CBT? <laughs> Thoughtless change from next on IMO will definitely be remembered poorly. I'm sure the petite key can be extended. If so, this is huge. If you think it's a vec pet, it's not. It's a regular pet. Lol. They just use petite for all the little pet names, even though there's also the Wonderberry petite rank, which is actually vec pets. Very easily. Yeah, see? Oh, okay, there are Wonderberry pets with the petite prefix, and those are vec pets. Exactly. See, that's why... <sighs> That's why it's just confusing. Just why do that? All right, yeah. So some cool, uh, some cool little mini games. Uh, what do you guys think of the general move where instead of having to do something every single day and then you can only do it for a week, instead they make it a few weeks and then you can only get it like three or four times a week, so you can miss a few days. But as long as you commit during the days that you do it, you can end up on top and get the full weekly contribution anyway. I think it's, you know, if you don't want to do it, you still don't have to do it. But if you do want to do it, at least you're not locked in to have to do it every single day for the whole. So I think in general, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice move. The one thing I don't like that they did, that well, that they're doing now in Savior and that they're doing as well with New Age, is the whole like one week of rotating events where it changes every single week. I feel like that's a bit too much, like constantly staying on top of that. Now. It changing from having to do something every single day of the week versus, you know, like three or four days max per week instead. That does take a bit of the pressure off of it. But in general, I'm not a fan of like one week constantly changing because it's too much to constantly be like, oh, it's this week now. It's this week now. It's like, oh, did I already miss it? Like I blinked and that week's over. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. But yeah, new boss changes, extra drops, drops on the easy mode. That all went through. Some skill changes, nothing massive. Those changes on the Mercedes skill were like the biggest changes compared to Tespia. But I think that was just like changing it from this percentage is what it is now versus this is how much it's gone up by because it's minus 100% on both. Um, so it seems like that's just that. Uh, culling difficulties, new music, kind of a bop. New symbol, the new maps look kind of crazy but being able to train there is going to be nasty. 
Um, yeah, the pay to win and extra extra pay to win rings. Oh, Kirin's ring, I believe. I believe this is called Kirin's ring, if I'm not mistaken, in um, in GMS. But yeah, I think you should be able to completely disconnect for a weekend and still keep up. Yeah. Well, that's why they always have those catch-up systems, but those usually cost real money, yeah. So is transfer... CS transfer permanent? No, but they're doing it for like a week, one for one week out of the month, roughly, in uh, Korea. Because people complained a lot about not being able to move their NX and everything. And in GMS, we kind of just... Eh, didn't care. <laughs> Unique emblem with damage 9% and attack 9%. Should I get legendary? On your, if it's your main character, yeah, you wanna you wanna roll over that. Either get IED plus attack or two line attack on uh, on legendary. I was on vacation during bonk week and I was so sad. Ah, you missed you know missed a lot of the bonking, but events like that come back and you still have the uh, the exp points every day, right? If you're still capping, and then the exp the extra exp that you can redeem from the six star, uh, like this extra exp is also. Those two combined is also a lot of daily EXP, so use that as a substitution for the bonking, I guess. Um, yeah, so not too many extra skill changes versus Taspia. Um, the game is going to put the number of symbols that you can pick up based on the space in your inventory. Mind-blowing. Wow, great, amazing uh, progress. <laughs> Um, the way smaller hitbox for the projectile for Kalos, I guess it was too easy, so they had to make it a little bit harder again. And, uh, I'll leave you guys with the, with the bop again. See how you guys feel about this one. But yeah, so, uh, let me know what you guys think about all of this stuff. Again, nothing is guaranteed here that GMS will get it, but at least this is all guaranteed in Korea. Some extra rewards. Not too shabby. Up to ten and a half hours of triple EXP. Sea otters are having a grand old time. So yeah, again, this is a part of the New Age event update. So most likely this is about five months away. Five and a half months. Intro to this song is the same as the I was in the club bottoms up when I first met you song. Uh, link it in the chat. I don't know that one. <laughs> it's a perfect emo for it, dude. It's perfectly synchronized with the music as well. Let me some mangoes. Okay. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking it out. Just a quick update. Shout out again to Max of Orange Mushroom putting all this stuff together. Support him on Patreon. Uh, or don't. I'm not your dad. But consider if you have a few bucks. And um, see you whenever Max has a new update. Because uh, he posts some good shit. Thanks for checking it out.